Today I've got a friend's Range Rover 3.6 TDV8 and what's happening is it's going into limp mode whenever pushed under hard acceleration or when going uphill. Now I've checked the codes and it's shown a code for the MAF sensor and also the MAP sensor which is the manifold air pressure sensor. So, to rule out the MAF sensor, and the codes, you know, could have been historic, what we've done is we've erased the codes, gone back out in the car, and managed to get the car to go back into limp mode, and the only code that came back in was the MAP sensor code. Now, this MAP sensor code could indicate a leak in one of the high pressure hoses. However, a very common issue are the actual sensors themselves becoming clogged up with carbon residue. Now, it does actually look like the sensor on the right has already been changed and this is the one that we're going to change today so there's there's two sensors and we'll take a look at the current condition of the ones on the car now so we've just got these connectors to remove and we've got a t20 torx holding the sensors in position So this is the sensor that I think has already been replaced. It's not in too bad condition. A little bit mucky, we can clean that, no problem. The second sensor is likely to be the cause of the issue. So as you can see, it's completely covered in carbon deposits. So this is the sensor that isn't in too bad condition. And this is the one that is completely covered up. Now you could try cleaning these, but I've ordered a brand new part from Land Rover. LR007596 and this is the new part so we'll fit this and this should eradicate the map sensor code so I had the right map sensor but the wrong cause of the issue now, if I'd have just taken a look down the front of the engine, I'd have seen the oil residue and the left pipe is rock hard compared to the right hand pipe. A quick flip revealed this huge split. I did have other reasons for believing the sensor was at fault, but this is why it pays to take a closer look before buying new parts. This is the part number for the hose that I replaced, which is the left hand of the block. And this is the part number for the right hand of the block, which had already been previously replaced.